if, if 1392 and 1400 pass, whether you ban edible and drinkable, and you ban smoking and drinking, that just leave us with rectal. <laughs> I believe the phrase suppository has been used in describing that would occur if both of those did pass. Uh, it, it, would, it would limit the ability of how that product could be sold to consumers. Qualifying measures. Just curious. <laughs> When's, when's the soonest? I was in the update from Representative House and Rules. Sounds like some of them, some of them will actually be voted on next Wednesday. At least the House amendments. Um, are there timelines on any of the other ones that we need to be aware of? Uh, the House Rules Committee took an informational session with seven of Representative House's bills earlier this afternoon. They will be voting on those seven uh, to go whether pass or not pass out of the committee at noon on Wednesday. The other bills are subject to those individual committees. Several of them, such as Representative Lungstrom's uh, House bills, are also in House rules, but are not on that special order and could come up Wednesday. The Senate Health and Welfare uh, Public Health, I believe today, dealt primarily with the question of telemedicine and did not advance down the agenda significantly to get closer to that. It's going to be when they come up, unless a specific order, special order of business is made. And so it's suitably vague for lawyers in the span of, of how quickly this will happen. So House Bill 1369 and Senate Bill 243, the difference in the two? There are two significant differences. Senate Bill 243 takes the existing language of the amendment and sends all of the overage uh, to a, a particular fund, to the VOTEC fund for the Department of Career Education. That's the bill that's in the Senate Education Committee. House Bill 1369 says before we do anything with the money, we're taking those, that tax revenue, putting it in a specific fund that is going to be used to pay for administering the program. <coughs> ABC is going to have additional costs in administering both administration and enforcement. We want to make sure that Mary Robin has all the resources she and Bud and Boyce need to do what this commission and ABC promulgates as far as rules. We want to make sure health is able to pay for the tracking system, the seed to sale tracking and the requirements to promulgate the labs. That's what 1369 does and then sends the overage from that after those costs are paid for into general revenue. Does English, does English recognize that there's a problem with the... I have not spoken with Senator English, English. with regard to whether she would entertain an amendment yeah. to have a similar sort of costs first component of her bill. Because it just seems important that the cost of this program is recognized to regulate it with all the agencies. Representative House said something very similar earlier today in committee. I will also note that in committee, HB 1369 was supported by Arkansans for Compassionate Care, who had backed the alternate medical marijuana measure that was on the ballot. Uh, they actually approved of all seven of Representative House's bills that he spoke to the committee about as far as providing patient protection and enforced about they having a workable situation or system in place. That was very helpful.